So while I'm on the date, what are some tips for stuff that I should do to, you know, dazzle her? Really, one of the best things to do is to pay attention to what their passions are. I believe that if you align yourself with their passions, they become passionate about you. And sort of lie, even if you're well, not passionate about it. No, so, no, well, no, if no. you're interested in the person, you should be, I mean, really interested in their passions, right? Right, yes. Definitely. Yeah. Well, you're not, you're not pretending to be someone you're not. You're just learning about their passions and their interests. And now, as promised, I am going to give you my favorite tip. Now, if you ignore this rule, you will guaranteed be miserable <laughs> if you accept this rule dating will be a lot easier and that is this i feel like there should be a drum roll healthy confident and available are non-negotiable i'm talking about if someone is unhealthy if someone has an alcohol problem if someone is insecure if someone is so insecure that they can't get out of the house to meet your family at an appropriate time in your relationship. If someone is so unavailable that they're actually already in a relationship with another person, healthy, confident, and available are non-negotiable. If you should never settle, never ever settle for someone who doesn't have those three things because they will always lead to drama and you will always be miserable. Tracy, you're a relationship expert. Why do you think it is that some animals gravitate towards other species? I think that like attracts like in any species. Like I have a cat and a dog who adore each other. They both have a lot of similar characteristics and so why not be friends? What happens when things are, are tough already and you get dumped? How do you pick yourself up and go on? Well, I think it's a great opportunity to really take stock in where you're going with your life and what's wrong with your life and what the ideal is that you want it to be and to take to make those changes at that time. Sometimes when you're upset, maybe you did just get dumped, maybe you did just get fired, and to choose at that point to say, I'm going to do something that's even better than the situation was before. Tracy, let's say I've been dating a woman for an appropriate amount of time, and she wants to introduce me to her parents. Big step. Big, yeah, scary step. What are some tips there for wowing the future dad? You can ask your significant other what are good topics to talk about and what are topics to avoid. Like politics. politics religion. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. You want to stay away from anything controversial. Don't ever say anything bad about a girl's family. <laughs> you meet them, that's like the worst thing ever. Never disrespect the parents because they were there before and they're going to be there after. I would just add also the less clever the opening line, the better. I've had a lot of clients that when they learn that were a lot, very relieved because a lot of my male clients, they are hesitant to approach someone because they think they have to wow them with something hysterically funny. And then what happens is they spend so much time thinking about what to say that the woman's long gone. So don't do that. The less cle clever, the better. Someone has to break the ice. It might as well be you and it might as well be now. Hello and welcome to Dating Help 911, the only interactive dating advice television show in the world. This is a live show, so two things. First of all, you never know what will happen. Could That's what makes it so much fun. Exactly. Tonight, my guest is a moose. <laughs> Are you attractive? Let me know. Hey, babe. Tell me that you're cool. Tell me that I'm cool. I listen to you. If you listen to me. Let's face it, the physical chemistry, while it's great, um, is not necessarily a good indicator of long-term success. It's a good indicator of 24-hour success. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, go over, because let me tell you something. If she's a cutie at the gym, chances are, if you don't go over and talk to her, someone else might. If a relationship doesn't work, if you gave your best, then it may not have been, had anything to do with you. You know, not everybody is emotionally available for what the other person is available for at that time, if that makes sense. Absolutely. And so yeah. it may actually have had nothing to do with you. So I think as long as you can look in the mirror and say, I, I gave my best, I did my best, then I say, keep your head up high and keep going and keep giving your best and it will happen for you. You are a very special person. Oh. You have the best heart and smart and the kindest energy and you really want people to be happy. This is life coach and dating expert Tracy Steinberg wishing you happy dating.